Hello, I'm Martin Looker. Welcome to another Silicon Labs Quick Start video. In this video, I'll be introducing the GitHub Application Example Program. This program provides many examples to speed up your product development. It covers wireless technologies for various protocols, how to use peripherals both internal and external to our microcontrollers, and it also illustrates how you can create applications using the CircuitPython language or the Zephyr operating system. There'll be lots of links to repositories shown in this video, and you can find them all in the video description. As we have a lot of examples spread across multiple repositories, the best place to start is the Application Examples repo, which serves as an index and brings them all together. Let's start by looking at some repos that provide lower level examples, as some of the other higher level examples make use of these. Clicking into the Platform folder reveals links to peripheral repositories. In here you can find examples for the peripherals that are internal to our boards. Also under Platform in the third party hardware drivers repo, you will find support for a growing number of third party add on boards from the likes of SparkFun, Micro, Adafruit, and others. For each board, there is driver code and also a simple example application showing its use. These third party drivers and examples can easily be added to the Silicon Lab Simplicity Studio IDE in the form of an extension. Follow the instructions in the repository or view the Quick Start third party hardware drivers video and once installed, example applications can be created and drivers added to existing applications with just a few clicks. For examples showcasing wireless technologies, click into an appropriate folder such as the Bluetooth folder. For standard Bluetooth applications, click through to the Bluetooth Applications repository. In here you will find examples that also make use of the third-party hardware drivers, showing both how to interface with the add-on boards and also expose their data via Bluetooth. We'll look at one of these in action in the second half of this video. There are also examples that work with the BT Home protocol which is supported by the open source Home Assistant Smart Home Platform. These examples show how Bluetooth devices can be incorporated into a smart home system, monitored and controlled using the Home Assistant mobile app. You'll also find a repo for Bluetooth mesh applications within the Bluetooth folder. You'll find similar repositories for other wireless networking technologies such as Matter, Zigbee and others. These include proprietary radio applications where you can use the low level features of our radios to define the wireless operation and move away from the more standard protocols where required for your application. The examples provided by these repositories can be made available in the Simplicity Studio IDE by adding the URLs into the settings. The example projects can then be created with just a few clicks. Instructions for the required steps are in the README files for each repository. If you want to build applications using the Zephyr operating system, head to the Zephyr Applications repo. You can find examples here to work with peripherals and also create Bluetooth applications, including some compatible with the BT Home open standard and its Home Assistant integration. Some of our EFR32 MG24 boards are able to be programmed using CircuitPython, and you can find examples in the CircuitPython Applications repo. When working with CircuitPython, the binary programmed onto the device acts as an interpreter for Python language files loaded on the device and those source files can be edited in place and rerun without the need for a compile flash run cycle. And so this provides an easy way to experiment and prototype. The final repository I want to highlight is the training examples repository. In here you will find code to go along with training material, including videos from YouTube. At the moment you'll find code written in C, CircuitPython, 
and also for the Arduino IDE. These examples cover Bluetooth, Matter and AI ML technologies. If your preferred learning method is from a video showing how to create a project step by step, follow along with one of the DevLab videos you'll find here. I've not shown all the available repositories, so if you're looking for an example covering a particular technology, take a look through the list to find something that meets your needs and speeds up your project development. There is also a link to a form in the video description where you can provide suggestions for additional examples you would like to see from Silicon Labs. Let's take a look at what you get with one of these examples by looking at the Bluetooth Distance Monitor application from the Bluetooth Applications repository. This example makes use of drivers from the third-party hardware drivers repo to connect a BGM 220p Explorer kit to SparkFun's OLED display and distance sensor boards, along with a micro buzzer board. The third-party hardware drivers extension is installed into Simplicity Studio and the Bluetooth examples repository URL is also entered into Simplicity Studio settings. Instructions for these configurations are found in the repository readme files. With the Explorer kit connected to my PC, I can go into the launcher perspective and in the example projects and demos tab, locate the distance monitor example code. Here I can find a simple example from the third party hardware drivers extension and this is useful if you want to look at a driver in isolation. Alternatively, the Bluetooth Distance Monitor application uses the Distance Monitor driver along with others to create a full Bluetooth connected system. Clicking the Create button will add the project with code into my IDE. I can then compile the project and flash the binary into my Explorer kit. Alongside a bootloader, I already programmed. I have the BGM 220p Explorer kit on my desk with the Micro Buzz 2 clipboard mounted in the click connector. Using the quick connector, the Explorer kit is also connected to the SparkFun distance sensor, which is placed vertically, and that is daisy chained to the SparkFun Micro OLED display board. The main part of the application runs locally with the distance measured being displayed on the OLED display. A threshold is set so an alarm will be sounded if the distance is below 250 millimeters. And the alert is cancelled once the distance exceeds 250 millimeters again. Connecting to the device over Bluetooth using the Simplicity Connect mobile application allows the application settings to be altered. The threshold for the distances can be edited and the logic to sound the alert can be changed from being below a value to above, between or outside the threshold range. I've now altered the settings to sound an alarm when the distance is above 250 millimeters. And now when the distance drops to 200 millimeters, the alert is canceled. You can find further information on the GitHub application example program in a blog post on the Silicon Labs community site. At the bottom of this blog, there is also a link to the form for you to suggest additional examples. The project section of the Silicon Labs community also allows you to share projects you have created to help fellow developers and receive feedback. If you need assistance when working on your project, you can request help in the appropriate community forum for your issue. We hope that by exploring and reusing code from the Silicon Labs GitHub application example program that you can speed up your own project development. Keep a lookout for new examples as they're being added all the time and you can find the links to the repositories and other resources shown in this video in the video description. Thanks for watching.